Breaking news on the Outer Rim. Reports of Zerg attacks throughout the Caprulu sector are on the rise. The Confederacy of Man has the firepower, has the technology. All we need is you. I'm stopped in here tighter than a frog button a watermelon seed pipe. Our forefathers were sent to the stars long ago to die in the cold vacuum of space, but they persevered and formed the thriving civilization we've come to love today. I'm about to drop the hammer! <laughs> You've contributed to your communities, in your schools. But now, the war effort needs more Marines, more SCVs, more siege tank operators, and Wraith fighter pilots! I knew I should have stayed in bed this morning. <laughs> I like your style, friend. The Confederacy of Man needs you all. Our enemy is the fecal impaction of the lower intestine that will not budge! But with good Terran men and women, the Confederacy of Man will lay waste to the posterior sphincter of our enemies. Keep your arms and legs inside until this ride comes to a full and complete stop. Hope they don't put me in any tight spaces. Citizenship is service to you. Enlistment is duty to the Confederacy. Glory to all! Victory is Terran! No, Steve, I don't think getting bug juice shot at me is my idea of safety. Oh, I want to be an SCV though, Gary. Now, I, I sincerely doubt anyone of their right mind is going to let you handle power drills of that size, Steve. Especially since you ain't passed your psychiatric evaluation. Oh, Gary, I've got the hand eye coordination <laughs> of a Bangalore and the strength of 12 Ultralis. <laughs> More like the coordination of Arachnosaur and the IQ of a half-baked Zerglin, by God. Oh, oh, Gary won't mind if I mind the mineral pass beneath his foot, as long as we gets the blue stuff, right? Damn it, Gary. You know I go for the green gas, too. Uh, all right, all right. Look, look, Steve. That's okay, but that's when my ass isn't in the way, or when you roll down the damn window of our trailer. Not my fault all they feed us are those baby Zerg burritos. Not mm, untold you, Steve. We don't eat the damn Zerg. Hey. I swear, there was a tentacle in my last burrito. That's called shrimp, Steve. You know, it's an animal in the ocean. You really need to stop watching the sci-fi channel, and you need to dig yourself into some National Geographic. Also, lay off the damn death sticks. It's bad for your health. Well, I think we should do it. Look, Gary, we're just wasting away here when we could be out there helping our fellow Terran ward off the Zerg invasion, threatening our way of life. It's more than just us, Gary. It's about freedom, justice, and security for the Confederacy. Steve, my allegiance is to the Republic of my wallet and to democracy, goddammit. And right now, majority shares are giving me emergency powers to not give a shit. Come on, Gary. <laughs> you heard the man. Victory's tearing. Stop spouting that damn slogan, Steve. It's written for idiots like you to bring down the rest of us with. You know, Gary. I heard the Terran military miners get to keep a small percentage of the profits they mine once they get out of service. Alright. I'll bite. What's the pitch? Think about it, Gary. We won't be losing valuable time when the mines fall in. Having to bust our butts to get her back open and instead have the Confederacy give us those fancy robot rigs that zip zoop and zippity beep off through them their boom patches. As an added bonus, dealing with old man Jenkins would be far behind us whenever a drill breaks because the military would have to deal with it and not us. I'll be damned. Steve done had himself an idea. I'll tell you what, Steve. Not lining that old fuck's retirement fund would keep a pretty penny to ourselves, wouldn't it? I reckon you might be on to something. Yeah! Woo! Victory is Terran! We're joining the Confederacy, boys! What the hell you mean today? Oh, uh -uh, not today! Terran. Wait up, Victory's Steve! Terran. We gotta talk about this! Victory! 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 
and sour. Gary and Steve. <laughs> Is that a Negro? Thank you. As I said, Gary and Steve became some of the most influential military leaders of their time and made so much money that they could retire in a nice little spot down by the countryside to live happily ever after. Damn it, Steve. I said no narrating while we're at the mess hall. Ah. Uh, I should have never listened to your ass, Steve. This whole time has been nothing but yelling and endless amounts of standing around for nothing but guard duty. The rest of the army at least gets to do something useful, and I ain't seen a single fucking penny. <laughs> well, it wasn't going to happen all in a day, Gary. It's been three years, Steve! Three fucking years of this shit hole we've been standing in. Fuck! All right, I admit. It has been a while. But look at the bright side. Mmm. Mmm, good food. I should have let that damn Zergling kill you months ago. Ah, uh, you don't mean that. Hmm. I can tell. Either way, it's a bunch of horse shit, Steve. We still ain't mining ourselves into further debt, but this shit sucks. Well, if it isn't a mess hall full of rejects, has beens and and Steve. <laughs> Listen up! Company has been assigned with the task of patrolling for the next month, so I want to see your asses out of mess in exactly five minutes ago. Let's move it! Ah, oh, I can't believe I'm still stuck in this chicken shit outfit. I didn't even get finished by egg rolls. Hold it, you two! Ah, uh, what now, Sarge? It's bad enough I didn't get to finish my egg roll. Shut it, Steve. I have a point of interest I want you two to be at today. You two are going to Central. Oh, come on, Sarms. What fuck nut higher up asked for this? I'm the fuck nut higher up who asked for this. Yeah, well, Central's just a shithole. What the hell could be there? Ooh, maybe it's more egg rolls. There's been restlessness among the civilian population and reports of possible rebel insurgents trying to take in recruits. I'm giving you two jarheads the simple task of making the Confederacy's presence known by showing up and holding a gun. A task so simple even you two can't botch it up. Once you locate some of the little bastards, you are to take them into custody to Outpost 2 for interrogation. Is that clear? And you think... No, 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 hold up, hold up. I cannot emphasize this enough. And you think Steve and I are good for this assignment? No, I think you are. Besides, you're able enough to wrangle Steve here into doing what needs to be done. Well, if you say so, Sarge. If you say so. I mean, if there's egg rolls, I'll go willingly, Sarge. No wrangling needed. Shut up, Steve. God damn it. All right, you two. Get on it before I change my mind and place you on Overlord shit cleanup. Those boys are always getting into shit. people out today, Gar. Don't get distracted now. We have a job to do. I know. I know. And we're going to see it through. No. I'm going to see it through. You are going to stand guard and wait for me to bring back these rebel scum so we can take them to the second outpost. Call me if you get in trouble. What? Alone? But what if I get mugged? It's dangerous for a guy like me out here. Steve, 
Your damn marine and power armor, for God's sake. Although I question how or even why they gave you a weapon. Act like you don't give a shit about anything, and you'll be just fine. Now, I'm gonna start my reconnaissance at the local pub. Like I don't give a shit. Hmm. Ooh, egg rolls. down the street, mate. Themes extraterrestrial, like a gay bukkake. It's gay, but more tentacles and plots of... Alright, I get it. So, think you're funny, do you, soldier boy? Think you're strong enough to take on both of us, then? Probably not as strong as a fireman at the spawning pool later tonight. Now, I'm sure they're dying just to explore your infested little holes. And if you know what's good for you, you're gonna leave me be before you end up with more of them. Death to the Confederacy! Rebels, huh? That's right. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Looks like my job just got easier. Hey! Gary! Check out this attachment I bought! God damn it, Steve! I told you to wait by the vehicle! But Gary! It's so cool! Look what happens when I press this. Holy shit! Damn it, Steve! Alive, not dead! Alive! Whoops. Oh man, I'm out of here. This planet is done for anyway. Done for? Oh, oh, Steve, quick! Let's get back to the car! Uh, gotcha. Did I do that? Well, what do we do? Buck Central. Should we go after him or head back? We're heading back to base. This might be serious. 